Hi loves, welcome back to a new video. Um, we're going to jump right in. As you guys can see, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And as my transition colors, I'm going to be using raw sienna and burnt orange. Once I'm done blending those two shadows out, I'm going to be going I'm going to be going in with the same palette using Vanadian Red and Love Letter, taking it right on the crease. Just make sure you do not grab a lot of product at the same time because you want to make sure that those two shadows blend out very nicely. And what you guys will see me doing multiple times is switching from this brush to another fluffy clean brush just to make sure that everything is blending out nicely. Okay, so now I am taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek Cosmetics just to add a little more depth to this look. And after that, I am taking some concealer and a small flat brush to create a halo effect on the eye. And right before I applied my glitter, I applied some glitter glue from Too Faced, but the glitters I am using are from Bolt gl Bulk Glitters on Instagram. I'm not really sure the shade of this glitter because my brother removed the sticker, but you guys should definitely check them out. They are amazing quality and they are a dollar each, so definitely don't miss out on that. And, and now moving on to foundation, I am using my Kavon D and Sephora foundations mixed together. These are definitely my go-tos when it comes to full coverage. But um, after that, moving on to concealer, concealing my under eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. You guys already know the drill with that. But I purchased the Under the Sea Concealer by Tarte, and it is definitely worth the money. And... Everyone raving about it was definitely not lying because it's so easy to blend, so full coverage, and I definitely do recommend it. And don't forget to go in with the damp beauty blender to blend out your concealer because that's just wrong if you don't know for real. Like it would make your life so much easier and it look more smooth on your skin. After that I am taking my RCMA no color powder to set everywhere where I applied concealer make sure um, that it doesn't crease. Once I remove the powder off of my face, I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and contour my cheekbones and my forehead and my jawline, as you guys already know. I've also been going in with the RCMA powder under my contour just to make it a little more crisp and kind of have that clean effect. So, yeah. Okay, now mo moving on to my bottom lash line, and this is pretty simple. I'm just going to 
fast forward through this part, I'm basically using every shadow I use on my lid. Alright guys, so now to complete this look, I'm going with Lovesick by Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick and I absolutely loved how it went with this look. But yeah, now I'm going to set some setting spray to set my makeup and yeah guys, this is one of my many upcoming Valentine's Day looks and I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on my next video. Mwah.